Hey guys, how's it going? It's Syndicate here, and today I'm just like bringing you the game after I got my MOAB. Um, I did say MOAB. I've been calling it um, um, MOB. Um, I kind of noticed and everyone in the comments kind of pointed out to make sure that I knew I'd been saying it wrong, and it, I was just so excited that I actually managed to get it. I don't know why I was just like super pumped, and I didn't expect to go for one. Because I was just in the mood to be like, let's rush, let's rush, let's rush. And that's kind of the way the gameplay went if you go and watch it. If you haven't seen it, I'll definitely put an annotation on the screen for you to go and check it out. But it was like one of my best games because usually when I come on Xbox and you know, like you haven't played in a while, my like, your fingers are like, ah, you know, I'm all rusty. And basically, I just did really well. And I didn't expect to pull off like what I managed to actually pull off. And I've just been really enjoying playing aggressively. And I just wish I could like get rid of the whole kill death ratio thing because I've never been a player that kind of cares about it. But it's just like it seems like you know onto YouTube, everyone kind of cares about it when you look at your stats. So I was just trying to keep it around a 2 KD, and then I was just like, you know what? Ah, screw KD. I'd rather just have fun playing the game to be honest. And that is pretty much what I do now. And if my best piece of advice to you guys is to not get stressed over a game and just have fun, and that is it's what I do. I just I just have fun now when I'm playing and. Yeah, I wish I would have recorded this game as well, because I am playing kind of aggressively and watch this guy run past like, ah! <laughs> so he's, everyone's just like running past me and stuff, and I just had so much good fun. And I get some nice little streaks in this gameplay, you know, and uh, I do en end up coming out with like a good score and everything. Um, so then again, you know, I wish I would have live commentary, right? Com commentary, it would have been quite fun. But um, I was still playing without sound this game, so I did alright for, for no sound. And um, it made me think like, if I was playing with sound, you're like, how much better would I improve? Because halfway through that MOB video, like my headset cut out, so for like the half the kills that I needed to get uh, for the MOAB, um, I didn't have sound, and I pretty much just knew from like the mini map. And I think this is just the experience of being a good Call of Duty player, um, not being like I'm the best Call of Duty player ever. I mean like you know from experience of reading the map, and what I mean by reading the map is if you if a lot of people who I see coming into Call of Duty, you know, like new players and stuff like that, they, they hardly look at it. Um, unless they've got like a UAV or something like that so they know they can permanently look at it for the enemy's position and everything but I'm always looking at that and that's like sometimes when I run around a corner and get killed that's because I'm running around the corner and you know looking at the, the U uh, what's it called? the minimap, there we go uh, because if you know where your, your teammates positions are say if they're like in your vicinity then you know whereabouts the enemies are going to be it pretty much gives it all away because there's not going to be like the entire enemy team sat right next to you either you know you, you can get an idea of where everyone's going to be so um, if that's a big tip, it's definitely always use that. And if you do want to be a team player, always rock the. Uh, I think is it the uh, support class? No, this is this. Is this the specialist class I'm using? I'm not quite sure because um, I've just been like just enjoying it at the moment. I've not been going into like details and everything. But like run the UAV, you, you run the counter UAV and stuff like that, and you can just do some damage. And uh, this guy commandos me. That's quite funny. I thought I was gonna be dead smart, turn around, get the guy behind me, and then uh, you know take him out with the right shot, but. He kind of dominated me with that riot shield and was like lunge and just like knocked me the hell out unfortunately but I've just been super enjoying Modern Warfare 3 and I think I will carry on liking this game and to say like some weapons can be overpowered like I can run around with a sniper and just destroy with a sniper and take on anyone else and then if there's a sniper against me I can easily use you know any any weapon to counter whatever weapon I don't think I've ever got into a game where I'm like oh that's too overpowerful because you can see like um, this shotgun is super powerful. My secondary weapons are super powerful. Like, I can pretty much use any other gun as well and treat it as super powerful. Check that kill feed of just... Whoa! Check that kill feed of crates exploding! How the hell did they all fall for that? That was like a... Was like a... Was it five? A five-man feed of crates exploding? So that was kind of random, but... Yeah, I've just been... I've just been enjoying just playing the map and I, as I feel with this game it's one of the most balanced ones you could say like some things are overpowered but then again if something's overpowered I can pretty much balance it with you know a different technique or way of attacking something so I, I don't want them to nerf any guns and I'm being serious now I don't want them to nerf anything I just want them to leave it how it is because it's fine for me it seriously is fine for me the only thing they could, I could say sort out is matchmaking but that then brings me to asking you guys, like, if there was anything you wanted to change about this game, guys, what, what would you change? Is, is there anything you feel that needs to be changed? Like, is there something in your opinion that is majorly overpowered? Because I've got, like, I've run a Minecraft series and we've got, like, really active feedback from them guys on replies on there. And for the people who subscribe for, like, Modern Warfare 3 and Call of Duty and stuff, I'd love to see some, like, you know, good feedback from you guys as well. So, you know, I can respond to the comments and stuff like that because uh, if people don't know, I do this actually full time now. Uh, so it gives me a lot of time to be able to respond to you guys and everything so I can keep more involved with you. And I think I go on quite a nice little streak here and, like, um, take off the enemies because they all run around me. 
and uh, I get I get getting some like close quarters knifing action and stuff like that, so it's pretty crazy. And um, but this this um, support class, I'm sure it's support. I don't think it's specialist. And I'm shooting this car, and I'm like run away from that guy. This car is about to blow the frick up. So I just like I shoot some bullets into it, and hey, I get a kill. Uh, luckily I got two, so that was quite nice. And uh, these these guys with the riot shield, they don't they don't seem to be too amazing, and they don't know exactly what they're doing. But there was a pretty cool streak that I got, and that's when I was like, you know what? I've actually done okay this game. Um, so I might just you know record a commentary on it. And it's been a while since I've just done a normal commentary for you know Call of Duty, and I'm glad I have. I've I just wanted to get back on base with you guys, and just to let you know like I'm enjoying what I'm doing with Call of Duty. And if you want me to like carry on posting you know daily Call of Duty and stuff like that out there. Uh, multiplayer, sorry, then I will do, and I want to try and keep you guys more involved with, like, you know, when I do post and stuff like that. Um, but the feedback that I get off you guys is, you know, is vital. I love like reading the comments, seeing what you think of my live commentaries and stuff like that. And to be honest, I really, really do like doing live commentaries because you get my true reaction, especially without that mob, mob. Jeez, see, there I did it again. It's just too long, so should we call it a mob? Let's just call it a mob. There we go. Um, but yeah, uh, leave me some feedback, guys. A like would be absolutely awesome in a comment. So uh, let me know everything. And uh, if you want to, uh, follow me on Twitter. There I can keep you up to date with, you know, what I'm doing and uh, when I'm posting new videos and stuff and when I'm doing an open lobby. That would be really awesome, guys. It takes you, like, seriously, like, 15 seconds to sign up to Twitter. So I'll put a link in the description to my Twitter if you want to follow me and everything. And I can hopefully reply to you one day. And uh, that's been everything. If you did like the video, let me know. And uh, subscribe to see more if you haven't done already. Peace out.